made it so I'm gonna show you all the things you can do with it first because I don't want to just so yeah this is how it looks it's version 2 is better it the particles can be changed the texture pack can be changed and everything uh, plus particles are better and you can get more control over it so uh, the second explosion you can increase the amount, the amount of particles you want so to make it more realistic but I left it at 100 but in the render there will be 700 uh, the birth rate edit on that thing and then and then the particles and stuff they follow the camera as you can see and they're not 3d but it looks better in my opinion um, reset the reset is is as updated if you just click it one time it will reset the entire thing so texture pack I'm gonna quickly change change it and then back and so this is the, the POB craft texture pack looks awesome right now and yeah and you can change it frame you want it to explode so at frame 28 to start on exactly that frame really cool and now time to go to the tutorial hello guys this is Anish Vidya with another tutorial and this is on how I made my TNT rig so let's make a new cube I'm starting from scratch because um, I developed new techniques of making things and stuff so yeah so about eight subdivides because we need um, we're going to deform the mesh a little and press E snap settings enable this to 3.125 to enable some snapping basics and then uh, sorry if I'm a little slow I have a new uh, keyboard because my keyboard on my laptop is broken yeah I need a new laptop a uh, new PC uh, or something so I'm gonna use pure B craft because I love this texture pack um, oh, PNG so this is part one of my um, my tutorial it's gonna be a long tutorial and this will cover the animation the first bit of the TNT how it explodes and then next tutorial will be the particles which takes a lot longer so BPU red edit grab the texture you saw what I was doing then go into this mode make it editable make sure you do that and then you go into textures Oop, no, open the texture find your texture pack and here we go. press E snap thing changes to 3.5 Five, which is half of a pixel and then select everything uh, I don't know the shortcut key I, I made my own shortcut key so just select everything and move it into the position basics uh, I think you should all already know how to do this if not go learn it's very important and makes life a lot more easier than to go into Photoshop and crop every single block out which is what I did before uh, okay yeah normally it takes a lot less time for me to select all of this I'm using a mouse also okay uh, so let's make it high quality by change this 112 and then let's Group this to a to, uh, uh, actually just Alt G and while they're selecting the cube, and then name it TNT and name this TNT also, and add a the display tag and enable enhance open geo. So now it's enhance open geo. Uh, I'll show you what it does in a moment. Uh, so now make a new now and name it user data, which is what we're gonna use for all the user data because we're going to add this to C motion and when we do that we won't have any control of it after. So we're gonna make it on this C motion. Uh, on this now. We've added expresso tag and manage user data. 
So now we're gonna go for the flashing effect. So flash, float slider, we are 200%. And now grabbing that you data. And go to color of the thing and add a filter and click on it. Oh, no, don't click on it. And just drag the filter here, like that. And lightness. And just put it on the flash. And now if you look at it, it blinks. So, um, yeah, I just realized that my TNT, it flashes till this much when the actual TNT flashes till white. Like that. <clears throat> um, okay, we did that. Oh yeah, and enhanced open shell, it enables this um, if I off it you can't see that update so that's what it does also uh, okay now we get the uh, I'm thinking I need to get the scale and the thing of this TNT so make another user data so we're gonna get the Y and X axis because when you hit the TNT it moves on the Y and X axis. Get a float slider, a reel, about 10, name it, X axis, and oops, copy that and paste it, and name it, Y axis, oops, and enter. Oh, one more scale and data scale put slider and two I think it was two or something one two two yeah and okay now uh, <coughs> scale oops yeah I'm really bad with mouses I really love the neck trackpad uh, it's it I work a lot faster than that. so now I grab the now of the TNT <coughs> the reason why we're doing use data and not parameters is because when you use parameters of the object you cannot move it afterwards and even the children of it so yeah then you put it in C motion so scale to scale mm, Kion's position X to X. Hold control and double click to, to do that. Just a perfect thing. Uh, sorry. Okay. And so now we got that down. <coughs> so now we can okay, select the user data. We can move it on the Y, X, and scale it up. Perfect. Uh, let's move this thing to a little up. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so now we can start animating it. <coughs> you can animate it manually, but I like C motion because you can actually change the time very easily. Plus, have a lot of more options and stuff. I don't know why. I just like to go <laughs> crazy. So now hit Command D and go to Project Settings and change this to 12 because uh, actually uh, my normal frame rate is 24. But since I have a bad computer, I'm going to at 12, which is half of 24, and I can work with that. <coughs> mm. So now the C motion is set to 12 also, but uh, it copies the frame rate and stuff. So go into objects, uh, grab in that user data we made. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, and go to basics, and off auto time from 0 to so my frame rate is 12 so t so 12 times that little star thing can't really see oh jeez <coughs> so 12 times uh, 4 which is 48 and that's how long the TNT takes for until it explodes into particles um, so now we have that <coughs> so the C motion will be enabled till 48 so it changes to like 70 
and it flashes nine times or eight times or something like that but I know it was the ninth one it explodes on so now we go scale no uh, flash let's get the flash first and put there a hundred percent so nine times um, go here change it to linear and we're going to use this thing as a reference Okay guys, I'm back, <laughs> so this is how it would look, um, I, yeah, um, this is how it look in, oh, it's, it's playing way too fast, uh, I did, uh, oh yeah, so this said, um, also 48, so now we get this effect. Wait, okay, so I learned in a little more. Um, yeah, and by the way, to add these small dots, you need to hold control and click. So, yeah, perfect. Um, now we want that bounce motion dot. Uh, so go back to C motion and click on the user data, add the y axis, add, <coughs> and put this at 100. Okay, so I'm back, and this is how it should look like. Uh, yeah, um, pretty straightforward. Well, now, <laughs> when it gets to the particles, it's more about how it looks than um, something like that. Okay, so now we do the Y. Okay, guys, I'm back again. Um, so that's. Oops, I didn't show you how it looks. That's how it looks like. Uh, okay. Um, that's what we got now. Now let's get the scale. Oh, and the disappear. Uh, I forgot to add that. So manage use data and data. Let's add a real one and name it disappear. <sighs> and put it down to that. And then get the, this main now. Oh, and no, actually, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, let's just use main now. Oh, maybe not. No, let's use this TNT. Oops, did everything. Oh, come on, just get okay. Editor. Render. We get a absolute, which rounds it up to the nearest integer. Um, rounds up any uh, input it gets to the nearest integer. So integer. Then we get a logic compare, which is we will tell the float slider at at number one at zero we want the TNT to disappear and when at one I mean when it's zero it's uh, there and when at one it disappears so we're gonna click on this and change this to one so we want to control the one make sure it's connected and then change this to integer and change it back to one <laughs> let's see if it's like that uh, 
<coughs> so you, yeah, that's how it looks. So we need to connect it to the team. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now when we move this, it will disappear and so on. Yeah. If you're wondering, this is how I made my character customization thing. Uh, I already had a tutorial on how to do it. It's just people didn't watch it. It's my um, touch tutorial. Touch tutorial. Okay, so now we have this appear also. We have to get the scale. So let's get the scale there. Uh, scale add. Okay, that looks good. Oh, forgot one more thing. <laughs> one thing important for a cool effect. We need a bulge. Let's grab it into the main TNT now. Oh, under the TNT. Uh, change this to 100, 100, 100. And put it up here. And when we increase the strength, the TNT does that. So. Yeah, it's a very good effect, so um, add an on data, bulge, load slider, send negative, uh, negative 30, and 30, and, okay. and then we put this here, yeah, I'm telling you now that it my TNT rig took a long time to figure out and to make so yeah it's gonna take a while to make it okay so we got that now we go back into C motion and we add it and finally we add this appear actually let's just add the disappear now um add Okay. Okay, guys, I'm back. So this is how it looks. The the disappear thing. So we need it so that the last frame it is disappeared. So we need two things here, like so. And uh, and you need to change the auto time to 47 because it needs to be one frame below the main time. So 40 and this one 47. <clears throat> so, yeah, now we get this effect. Uh, maybe the scale is too fast. Okay, so now let's just do the bulge because... Um, let's go into C motion and... Scale is a little too fast, I think. Let's just do that. Okay. And then let's go to the... Last one, and then we go to the next turn. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, I'm back, and this is how it looks. This is thing. This has to be at zero, so zero. And then it goes to this one, and then that's the final frame until it just disappears, and yeah. So yeah, that's that's it for this tutorial, uh, for this episode or whatever. Um, and then next tutorial, I'm gonna go to the particles, and the next one, I'm gonna go through the timing, and espresso and stuff. So thanks for watching, and bye.